friends, Pastor Greg here from St. Paul's United Methodist Church and Wesley Foundation. And I wanted to take a moment to talk to you a little bit today about what's happening within our denomination in the United Methodist Church at large. Some of you may have seen some news this week that there's been a, a split. It's been reported in the, in the media that our denomination has split. And I wanted to take a moment to be quite clear with you that this is not an accurate description of what has actually transpired. The truth is that on May 1st, this last Sunday, a new denomination was officially started called the Global Methodist Church. Now this denomination has been started by, uh, in large part by theologically and socially conservative friends who do not think that the United Methodist Church has been forceful enough in enforcing a traditionalist approach to interpreting scripture uh, and, and sort of living out our faith, uh, particularly in relation to our LGBTQ friends and their rights and privileges in the church. So this new denomination is not a split, though. There has been no voting by the United Methodist Church to officially sanction uh, such a split. This is simply a brand new denomination who's going ahead and doing their own thing. There may be some United Methodist churches who wish to leave the denomination and join this new one, uh, but to do so in a process called disaffiliation, those churches must uh, pay their share of unfunded uh, expenses related to apportionments, related to pensions, as well as some of the costs associated with their properties. So this is not something that many churches are, are even able to consider or are considering at this time, at least not in our annual conference. Instead, our bishops, the bishops of the United Methodist Church, are urging us to think about this time as a season of relaunching, a time of renewing ourselves to our commitment to be a place where all are welcome at the table, to remember that we are a people of resurrection. Here at St. Paul's United Methodist Church and Wesley Foundation, that's what we've been talking about in this season. As we continue then, in the season of Easter, we are reminding ourselves that if Jesus Christ defeated death as we radically claim, then we too are people of resurrection. We are people who believe that out of brokenness comes healing, out of despair comes hope, out of fear and grief and death come life and love. We'd love for you to join us as we continue to explore these ideas in our worship this weekend as we gather on Sunday morning at 9 and 1030 in person at our, our downtown State College location or uh, on our YouTube channel live streamed at 1030 or available for you anytime uh, after that. We are a people who are committed to journeying together, not just splitting apart when we don't see eye to eye on something, but leaving room for one another at a table of grace that is big enough for every single one of us. We are people who believe that the resurrection matters because it matters for every single one of us, not just those who we are comfortable with or who we agree with. We are a people who long to be connected, who long to be in relationship with God, with one another, and with you. We hope to see you soon.